the best way to finish off those ice cream tubs from summer months and giving a twist with what you can serve, giving a marble effect of ice cream, is by scooping little bit of each flavor of ice cream little at a time in the scoop, filling it up completely, you will have a lovely pattern created and two different flavors combined, giving a wow effect to your guests. Now, there are many a times that we end up having accidents in the kitchen with oil and oil bottles spilling all over on the floor, which can get very messy and hard to clean. So, the best and easiest and fastest way to clean and clear up the oil is by using flour. You can use any flour that you have at home. Wheat flour, rice flour, maida. I have basin, which is gram flour in plenty. So, I sprinkle on the oil. Flour absorbs the oil easily and, and also clears the surface easily without getting slippery. I haven't used a single tissue, a wet cloth or a dry cloth to clean up. Just using flour to clean up the whole mess of oil. Use a thick based saucepan and organic unsalted butter. I normally melt 2 blocks of butter weighing 250 grams each. On a very low flame, I set to melt the butter stirring it occasionally every now and then. It takes exactly 20 minutes of time to make ghee which is clarified butter or you can check the color or the smell of the ghee to know it's done. After a complete meltdown when the ghee starts rising up again this is also a point to know it's done. It is really hot so make sure to have a base underneath. Sieve the ghee and allow it to completely cool down before closing the lid your homemade ghee is ready. Now you can actually use this from the sieve to eat as an instant sweet by adding in organic coconut sugar immediately while it is still hot. Combine it well and enjoy it straight away. Looking after quartz and turmeric stains. I sprinkle in water all over the kitchen countertop and sprinkle bicarbonate soda. A soft bristle giving a good scrub to easily get rid of the turmeric stains and to sparkle and shine the quads. I wipe down with a wet mop and then dry it down immediately. The best way to store dry coconut for a very long time is by sharing it in the same box of darya dal uh, which is also called as roasted split chana dal. I do use a lot of dry grated coconut to make different varieties of gun powders at home. Grating the dry coconut is very time consuming and I find it really hard. The easiest way is to just scrape the edges using ilge. It's very fast by just chopping it down from the sides. When it's time to change the water from the flowers, adding a teaspoon of sugar along with water can help the flowers with nutrients and also prolong the vase life. I layer up a tissue in a box and saving up the flowers for longer by covering them up in a tissue again at the top and refrigerating them. This way the flowers remain fresh easily for 10 to 15 days time. I'm planning to make aloo gobi sabzi today. It's hard to see the small insects which are camouflaged in the cauliflower. The best way to get rid of them is by adding in turmeric and hot water. I allow 10 minutes of time for the cauliflower in hot water to clean and disinfect before making the sabzi. Now there are many a times that a sabzi that doesn't taste very good. Best way to uplift the taste is by just adding in sugar and fresh lime juice enhances the taste of any dish. To get those super soft chapatis, adding in ghee and warm water to knead the dough. It's easy to roll the chapatis and you will have super soft chapatis to eat. While making chapatis, it becomes so difficult having a full sleeved top. What I do is I use hair bubbles to hold up my sleeves while rolling the chapatis. These bubbles hold up the sleeves firm and also keep us warm with a full sleeved top in the winter and I don't have to roll up my sleeves anymore. I have kasuri methi adding in water to clean up. There are many a times that we have unexpected guests at home and also at times we want to eat something different from the usual. What you can do is to roll the chapati to a small disc size. Smear some oil, add in turmeric and spread it all over. 
fold it up again and roll back a layer of washed kasuri methi fold it again and roll back to smear oil and kashmiri red chili powder roll the chapati to a bigger size now with three different layers colors and taste that you can make this given any time whenever you are making chapatis it is a healthy tasty chapati building your immunity too enjoy it while it's hot i have got this nutella on my sweater all over when i was working with it the other day i'm using colgate toothpaste to remove the chocolate stains giving a little wash with water to create lather all the chocolate nutella stain is gone from the white sweater due to excess heat the cooker gasket compresses so it becomes important to stretch the gasket and put it back on before using the cooker in which way the gasket will hold the water in the cooker and not spill out while whistling peeling shallots can be such a task making it easy by adding in warm water and giving it just 2 minutes time to work and you can peel off the skin easily we all have different sizes of knife to use using a heavy knife helps to chop things easily and also very fast with not much pressure required anything as big as cauliflower to melons to onions and even chopping the coriander is super easy try it yourself with the constant use and heat over the years the dosa pan can get worn out using an onion and smearing it on the dosa pan helps to get a very smooth textured dosa without a trouble the gas hob can get very messy while making dosas an easy solution to clean the mess is by just pouring in water on it leave it for 10 to 15 minutes time no chemicals no detergents needed water helps to lift it up easily i then give a dry wipe with a kitchen towel straight away if you are like me suffering from frost bites during winter then the best solution is by just using an onion and smearing it all over on your hands and fingers it's an amazing food providing immediate effect by reducing the numbness itchiness and healing it straight away to return to normal It's quite annoying to see hair on the floor. Now the best way what I have started to do is to just pull down the hair which are about to fall a couple of times in a day and pin it straight away. Keeping the floor clean is an easy way now. I have this very old saree which has gathered a lot of stains and is a lot dirty as well. So in a tub I add in baking soda and warm water. I allow a good time of 2 hours for it to work. I give a gentle wash and then scrub. The color looks so much vibrant after all these years and yes the stains are not very strong and visible anymore. All the vessels used for the day, keeping it in the sink, let them soak in the water whenever you are washing your hands throughout the day. And the soaked vessels in which way you don't have to use additional water to soak the vessels. By the end of the day it's a lot easy to clean and clear up the vessels with very little water needed to wash them